Yeah. What are the struggles that we don't know about? Um, lice, uh, scabies, hunger, um, withdrawal if you're an addict, really aggressive other homeless people that just want to fight, they'll find any reason, and I'm a pacifist. Uh -huh. like this is one guy, I was hanging out at the plaza, he's another homeless person, and he you find any reason to beat somebody up. Oh, wow. I was like really drunk, sitting laying in my sleeping bag, just kind of mumbling to myself. Yeah. And he kicked me in my head and in the face until I was unconscious and dragged my body down the sidewalk. Oh, wow. So, there's that. I mean, street life. <coughs> hey, Adam, how are you doing today? Uh, it could be worse. Yeah, yeah. You know, at least we're a first world country. <laughs> right. Um, so, um, how is everything? What's going on uh, with your situation, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I moved out here from Tennessee, hitchhiking and taking buses. And uh, kind of got stuck on this side. Kind of got this stuck on this side of the country. And uh, I'm a recovering drug addict and uh, alcoholic, not knowing what I was getting myself into. I was really, really young. Um, right now, I'm working on getting into a rehab, but there's a lot of hoops to jump through, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I had to fill out a whole bunch of medical forms to make sure to do like a background check on my medical history, because I got pancreatitis from drinking way too much, oh, wow. the doctor said not to quit cold turkey, you know, kind of wean myself off, mm -hmm. you know, with just a beer every few hours or so, so right now it's just a waiting game. Trying to get back on my feet. Wow. How long have you been in Arcata? Um, I would say about six, seven months. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you're pretty how you're pretty young. How old are you? Twenty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got your whole life ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't I don't want to destroy it by just I mean I got a friend who's like in his seventies on the streets. Cool. Uh, he's been drinking since he was fourteen. I don't know how he's lasted this long. Yeah. And he pisses and Poops his pants, all because of alcoholism. I don't want to get to that. I don't want to. <laughs> One yeah. day I want to, you know, I want to be on my feet, have a family, have a lot mm -hmm. of land. Right. Uh, where are you sleeping now? Just doorways if it's raining, um, on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And last night I slept in the parking lot. Yeah, it must be freezing, especially with the cold weather coming in. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was like some kind of moisture in the air. My, so my blankets kind of got wet yeah my jacket got wet yeah so wow cool um if we could send out your uh, thoughts and prayers and good vibes what what do you uh need help with you think uh strength mm -hmm. <laughs> sobriety um motivation you know yeah and, that's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Is it the alcohol, the drugs, like, um, is it one thing leads to another? Is it easy access to, or how does it work? Uh, a lot of it is hanging out with the wrong people, and then they kind of talk you into it. I mean, my father is the one who got me addicted to opiates. Uh -huh. I, was, I met him when I was 18 after not knowing him for 10 years. And, uh, and he convinced me to do it. Like, he was like, there's no withdrawals. Mm -hmm. And I started, you know, starting taught me how to snort pills and all that shit. Yeah. And and then uh, he cut me off. And I was like, why am I hurting so bad? What is going on? Why am I feeling this way? It's painful. Yeah. He's like, oh shit, you're going to withdraw. Oh. So I quit cold turkey, not knowing about methadone clinics or Kratom or anything. Okay. And uh, he would start buying me gallons of vodka to help me through the withdrawal. Jeez. So, and so, uh, you know, he kind of got me hooked on drugs, and then he got me hooked on alcohol. Oh, man. The physical withdrawals from alcohol is mm -hmm. bad. I'll have full-blown seizures that last like seven seconds. Yeah. I, I mean, I tried to quit cold turkey one time. For like three days, I started hallucinating. Mm -hmm. I ended up in the hospital. Okay. Jeez. So, I got to be careful with quitting. Uh-huh, I have to wean yourself off kind of thing. I wean myself off a little bit, and then go to rehab where they have medical supervision 
Okay. And like nurses will come and give you a medication to prevent you from having seizures. Okay. And that'll just last like five to seven days. Okay. So you've gone through the, the system and then you kind of fell off the wagon kind of thing or? Oh yeah, I went through with, uh, I've gone through the detox for once. Yeah. It only lasted five days. It was a girl that I was hanging out with. I was always drinking whiskey and always offering it to me. I finally gave in. Okay. Again. Right. <laughs> Forgetting about how the withdrawals were extraordinarily painful. Okay. Wow. So you just become the people who you hang out with the most, I guess, huh? Yeah. I got to distance myself from certain people. Okay. Okay. I mean, wow. I'm already drinking, so I, I, I hang out with other alcoholics. Sure, sure. Hey, but nobody's it perfect. Alcoholism, I don't think that caused me to be homeless. It was a choice. Mm -hmm. um, I usually have an instrument because I... That's how I make my money is I busk. Uh -huh. But um, somebody, people, I've gone through like 20. People keep stealing them from me while I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, I just wanted to be a traveling nomad, making music. Yeah. Doing the hobo thing. Sure. How'd you end up in uh, Northern California, Humboldt? Uh, well, I traveled. I, I started traveling to. Oregon once I quit opiates yeah um, because it, weed became legal so I figured that would be a good alternative yeah and that, well, I didn't want to be smoking the joint look on my shoulder all the time yeah and so um, I lived there for a while still drinking heavily and, uh, and then I ran into a few people that wanted to travel okay we got together and started first we went to Seattle and Portland and moved around a bit up and down the west coast uh-huh yeah cool oh, okay. i mean it's been it's got its ups and downs yeah right, right here recently it's been quite a bit of a struggle yeah what are the struggles that we don't know about um lice uh <laughs> scabies hunger um withdrawal if you're an addict really aggressive other homeless people that just want to fight they'll find any reason and I'm a pacifist uh -huh. like this is one guy I was hanging out at the plaza he's another homeless person and he he find any reason to beat somebody up oh, wow I was like really drunk so I laid in my sleeping bag just kind of mumbling to myself yeah and he kicked me in my head and in the face until I was unconscious and dragged my body down the sidewalk oh wow so there's that I mean street life there's a lot of good people on the streets mm -hmm. but there's also a lot of really really aggressive people okay yeah and like i don't know why that is especially in the west coast like uh -huh. east coast there's a southern hospitality kind of thing going. yeah yeah we have a lot of mental health issues around here it seems yeah. like yeah there is yeah there is yeah. a lot of these homeless people you can't even communicate with them uh-huh yeah. They're like they're so far gone. I don't know whether it's drug induced or it's just because they were born that way. Yeah. You can't communicate. You can't have a conversation with them at all. Right. And they just walk around day and night. I don't even know if they sleep. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. I gotta have my sleep. I take like at least one nap a day. And sleep throughout the night. Yeah. You know, I gotta. I don't understand. Right. They're, they're just really far gone. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily. I'm still sane. I might lose my mind every once in a while. <laughs> when I've had a really, really bad week. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, before I say goodbye, you want to leave anything to our viewers? Um, let's see, let me think. Much love. Um, take care of each other. Don't become homeless. <laughs> Thank you.